Vic Yeah, hi again, team. Uh, Dale here with um, post-race comments on Fabulon. Even before Dale says anything, guys, I mean, I thought it was a super run by the horse. I think what you've got to understand is they've come home in the last 633.8. These times, I mean, Buffering used to run those kind of times. That's how quick they're running on these Fermi tracks. We simply need rain for this horse. And we need these horses running home in 35, 35 and a half. Not 33 and a half. That's the difference. He was still game all the way to the line, down. Yeah, he was. Was, was he a little slow away? Did he jump no, or something? No, so the thing that the uh, medicine that was drawn to the inside of us bounced outwards and just half skittled us. I just had to just sit there and just dodge his heels for a couple of strides and then had to then wait and then I had to come down. Had a good run in transit. Um, it's like you say, they're running home in 33, you know, 33 and three quarters. Why? Because they're just going too slow in front. They're getting away with murder in front. Well, you tracked up, you say. I tracked, round. I tracked, and that was why I was happy to go to the fence to the simple fact that everything started to peel off. I was just had a lap full of horse. I know, you know, I mean, I feel what this horse can do every every day of the week at their track work, and they ain't much better than him. But he still needs that sting out of the track, and they need to be rolling out a genuine clip. When it's a sit and sprint, it makes it quite difficult for him to be picking himself up, especially with the 59 and, and, and finishing off. His effort today, I thought, was huge. I thought it was tough. And I, I really enjoyed the way he, you know, really attacked the line, at, at least that last 100 anyway. I, I suppose the question mark is now, where do we go? And I suppose that's something Cam and I will talk about. I mean, do we, do we keep him around the 13, 50, 40, and do we go to a mile? I mean, there are, there are some nice mile options coming up, but... To be honest, team, I think it really comes down to rain. Wherever we see rain, we shove a norm in and see if we can get him on a wet track. Absolutely, you know, like I say, we, we've known, you know, how good he does go on the wet tracks and, you know, he grows on other legs. So, you know, as soon as we see that rain, like I say, put that norm in because, you know, when we get it, it we'll know he's, you know, we'll be back in the winter circle, that's for sure. Good on you, Dave.